Hello all, welcome to Paritranaya. In this class, we shall discuss about a very important art and culture related topic that is prehistoric rock paintings. When it com comes to art and culture, there are multiple sources. So, among those multiple sources, one important source is the 11th standards NCRT that is introduction to Indian art. But when it comes to this book, so many find it uh, not that much user friendly. So often students do complain that what are the things that we have to read in this book because every point it seems important. So here we have brought this uh, video, uh, this class to help you reduce the effort. And here we have prepared this keeping the exams demand in mind and this topic prehistoric rock paintings so that this discussion would be more than sufficient to tackle any kind of questions related to prehistoric paintings either from Plim's point of view or Main's point of view. So what is prehistoric? So first we need to understand about the prehistoric. So we call historic period whenever there is a written documentation for it. But before the scripts uh, started or before we started writing, so how did the people, people express themselves, their inner emotions? So uh, those we will be discussing about those things. Okay, we will be discussing about those things about the prehistoric period. So before we got the script and all, or before uh, the practice of writing started, people used to express themselves in different ways. So when it comes to expression, it may be like painting, or it may be dance and drama. It may be music. There are many forms of expression. But in the prehistoric period, the first form of expression that started was painting and drawing. So very important point to note from exam point of view. So generally they may what uh, frame a question like this. So which was the oldest form of what art practiced by human beings. So the important point to note painting and drawing were the oldest art forms practiced by human beings to express themselves. Next what was the canvas that they used in today today whenever we want to express through painting then we take a sheet of paper or some other what uh, uh, some other material as a canvas but in those days the canvas was the walls of the caves walls of the caves okay so very important so painting and drawing were the oldest art forms practiced by human beings and not music or drama to express themselves using the walls of the caves as their canvas so here if you look at the prehistoric paintings so they appear something like this so here here we see a hand uh, holding what people holding their hands and uh, dancing so these kind of images we will see in prehistoric period again these are also examples of prehistoric period so let us what delve deeper into these topics so when it comes to historic or prehistoric period so there are three different what stages so the first stage is Paleolithic stage, next is Mesolithic and next Neolithic and also Chalcolithic and in different books they have used uh, what different uh, periods, they may use some extra periods as well but for time being we shall stick to the periods which have been mentioned here. So one is Paleolithic, Mesolithic, Neolithic and next Chalcolithic. So here among these periods the oldest one is Paleolithic age. Okay or Paleolithic period and this is also referred to as Old Stone Age, Old Stone Age or Paleolithic Age. So the prehistoric period in the early development of human beings is commonly referred so. So whenever we want to initiate a discussion on prehistoric period then we will start with Paleolithic Age, next we will move to Mesolithic and finally to Neolithic and Chalcolithic. Okay, Chalcolithic. So here two things to note, Lower Paleolithic people, Upper Paleolithic times. So when we consider two periods. For example, if I say 1901 to 1999, so here what will be the lower Paleolithic period? For example, 1901 to 1950 will be lower Paleolithic period. As an example, upper Paleolithic period will be 1951 to 1999. So whenever we are speaking about two different periods, upper and lower, so this is how we use that. Okay, this is how we use the terminology: lower Paleolithic people, upper Paleolithic people. So here, when it comes to lower Paleolithic uh, time, we do not really know if they ever produced any art objects. It means we have not got any proof of the art that is painting or anything that has been produced by lower Paleolithic people. But from upper Paleolithic times, we have many what uh, examples or uh, many illustrations. So in India, the earliest paintings have been reported from this period, a very important point to note. 
So in the examination, they may frame a question like this. Uh, from which of the following periods uh, did India what recorded its earliest painting? So it is upper period the period. Okay? Very important point to note. Next, first discovery of rock painting in India. So these kind of questions can also be framed. So first discovery of rock painting in India was made by archaeologist Arkinold Carrill. Okay. So this year is not that much important, but uh, the name of the archaeologist is very important. So 12 years before the discovery of Altamira in Spain. So similar kind of discovery was made in Spain, but before that discovery, 12 years before that, it was made, it was discovered in India. So here the name of the archaeologist becomes important. So the question may be framed in different dimensions. Sometimes they may ask you like who first discovered the rock paintings in India and some other times they may give you a list of personality and they may ask you, so these personalities are associated with what? Whether they are archaeologists or scientists or musicians, okay, that kind of questions can be asked. So in that context, it is important to note that Arkinod Karel was an archaeologist and he first discovered the rock paintings in India. Next, another important topic. So whenever UPSC focuses on any kind of music or painting anything, so it focuses on the areas. So in which part of the India do we find what prehistoric paintings? So these kind of questions can be framed. So an uh, important point to note here is Lakhudiyar, a place in Uttarakhand. So here we have rock shelters on the banks of river Suyal. So here we find hand linked dancing figures. So just now we saw it. So these kind of figures are available here in Lakhudiyar. Okay, Lakhudiyar. So to be very specific. So these are the paintings of uh, hand linked figures of Lakhudiyar. Okay, Lakhudiyar. Next, Neolithic paintings. So here, Kupagallu and Piklihal. So these are the places where we find Neolithic paintings. So from UPSC perspective, so they can frame the questions in this fashion. So in which among the following places do we find Neolithic paintings? So we should be able to what uh, connect the dots properly. One is Kupagallu, another one is Piklihal. Now apart from that, UPSC will also ask on a what ancient name and in modern state where it is located. So in that case, we also need to have the information about the states. So here, this information, extra information we have added. So Kupagallu is present in the state of Karnataka. Similarly, Piklihal is present in the state of Karnataka. Karnataka. Next, Vinden ranges of Madhya Pradesh and Kaimurian extensions into Uttar Pradesh. So about the Vinden ranges and Kaimurian extensions we have discussed in detail in geography but just to correct it at the superficial level Vinden ranges is spread across five states of India Gujarat, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, next uh, Chhattisgarh, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. Certainly when it comes to Kaimurian extensions it is sp spread across three states Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. But here they are speaking about the Vinden ranges of Madhya Pradesh and Kaimurian extension of Uttar Pradesh. So in these places, we find rich paintings of prehistoric period. Pre prehistoric period. So again, an important point to note. Next, Bhim Bedka is an historic, important historic place. It is present in Madhya Pradesh. So again, a question can be framed like this. So where is Bhim Bedka located? It is located in the state of Madhya Pradesh. So on which mountain ranges it is present? Whether it is present across Vindyas or Western Ghats or Kaimur. So it is present on Vindya Hills. Important point to note. Next, who discovered these paintings first? It was discovered first by V.S. Wagner. This was an important point. Next, from Mesolithic period. So the second period, that is after Paleolithic period, next period is Mesolithic period. So here, from this period, we find the largest number of paintings. So compared to Paleolithic and Neolithic, the largest number of paintings that we have discovered, they are from Mesolithic period. And the themes which have been used in the paintings of Mesolithic period are hunting scenes. So hunting scenes predominate in Mesolithic paintings. So let us look into the example. So these kind of paintings, paintings, hunting scenes predominate the Mesolithic paintings. Mesolithic paintings. So important point to note. Next, Chalcolithic period. So in Chalcolithic period, in Bhim Betka, as we saw in the state of Madhya Pradesh, there are what different paintings. So UPSC might frame a question like this. In which of the following places do we find the paintings of prehistoric period where only uh, we have we can find an image with only one animal. So these kind of questions can be posed. 
similarly painting showing a man being hunted by a beast of prehistoric period so where do we find so these paintings are found at bimbetka a very important point to note so we can look at the actual images here so bimbetka man being hunted by a beast next here this is a beam bed car. So you may, uh, an image consists, consisting of single animal. So both of them, they are present at beam bed car. Okay. Next. So for painting, red color was extracted by grinding hematite. So which is also known as Geru in India. And when it comes to green color, it was extracted from a stone called as Chalcedony. Chalcedony. So again, very important point to note. Sometimes in order to confuse us, they may what mismatch they may say that red color is extracted from chalcedony this is wrong red color from hematite and green color from chalcedony okay chalcedony important point next another important point to note from upsc point of view so this is a map consisting of what prehistoric sites so when it comes to prehistoric sites upsc might focus uh, from different perspective First, it may ask a question like this: In which of the following places do we find do we find the prehistoric sites with paintings? So, in that case, we should be able to what recall these names, or we should be able to identify these names. So, this is one aspect of asking the question. Another aspect is they may give you a what ancient site name, and they may ask you to match them with the what modern states. So, from both the perspective, we should be able to what answer the question. So, first is we need to know about the list of names a uh, list of places which have prehistoric paintings and next is we need to know in which modern states they are located so almora is located in uttarakhand agra is located in uttar uttar pradesh gwalior is located in madhya pradesh pahargar in madhya pradesh kota in rajasthan banpura in madhya pradesh bhopal in madhya pradesh sagar in madhya pradesh mirjapur in uttar pradesh raigar in chatisgarh tirupati in andhra pradesh vettavalam in tamil nadu munar in kerala munar in kerala next Apart from paintings, we also find engravings in few of the places, in few of the places. So this is an example of an engraving. So this will make it clear. Okay. This will make it clear. So in which of the following sites do we find engravings of ancient, oh, sorry, of a prehistoric period at Gilgit in Jammu and Kashmir, Kargil in Jammu and Kashmir, Sultan's Battery in Kerala, Edkal Cave in Kerala, Tenmalai in Kerala, Perumba. Uh, Perum Kadavila in Kerala, Maya Oya in Sri Lanka, Doro Waka Kande in Sri Lanka. <laughs> Next, at few of the places we find both paintings as well as engravings. So this is also important. At few of the places we find both paintings as well as engravings. So which are those places? So one is Pachmari in Madhya Pradesh, Raigar in Chhattisgarh, Ballari in Karnataka. So here we have extracted or uh, the information from both claims as well as mains point of view and also we have added extra information considering the exams demand in mind so this information would be sufficient from both claims as well as mains point of view so in this class we discussed about the prehistoric painting similarly in the subsequent classes we will be discussing about the important topics related to upsc for all our further updates subscribe to our channel and hit on the bell icon thank you